In this tutorial, we'll look at how to display and hide a div with CSS. All right, so I have a simple example here. In my HTML, we have two boxes, two empty divs, box one and box two. This is what it looks like here on the page. This is box one with the orange color and the other box has a background color of green, yellow, right? They're both the same size. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about how we can display and hide a div with CSS. Let's say that we wanna hide or display this uh, orange box one div. So we have a couple of options. Let's start with hiding it. So what you can do is you can say, for example, opacity zero. Now, when you do that, it will be hidden, but the other element is going to act as if it still exists, right? So it's still taking up space. It's not move. It's not moving upwards, right? Because it's still assuming that this one exists, right? So as we ha we also have um, visibility hidden, right? Let me go back to the default uh, situation here. And actually to demonstrate the difference uh, with visibility hidden, I'm also gonna add cursor pointer, right? So this is the default situation. Right now, if I hover this, we get cursor pointer with opacity zero. Um, it's it's hidden, but we still get that cursor. That cursor still changes, right? So now let's go back to the default situation and use visibility hidden, right? So we wanna hide this div. So now we're gonna use visibility hidden. When you do that, it's hidden again. But this one is still acting as if it exists, right? So with visibility hidden, it's still taking up space. And also, uh, but the uh, cursor does not change to the pointer anymore, right? So this is a bit of a stronger measure than opacity zero, you could say, right? So then the strongest measure that we can take, let me go back here, is actually display none, right? So we can also say display none. And then if I refresh, you can see that it's actually, ta it's actually taken out of the flow, right? So other elements are going to reposition themselves to take up that space that now has become available, right? So this is, you could say, the strongest possible measure that you can take. It's not taking up any space anymore. So other elements are gonna, are gonna take up its space. Now, one other sort of tricky uh, or trick that people sometimes do is, for example, position absolute and then um, use very large uh, numbers here. So let's say, you know, uh, negative 100,000 uh, from the top and also some very uh, large number um, from the left. And so you're basically removing it off the page. So you don't see it anymore. And position absolute is basic, it's it, it will take it out of the normal flow. So its space will become available for other elements. Right? So this is, this is a bit of a trick you could say to sort of mimic what you get with the other three options. Um, be careful that you don't, like if you use a too small of a number, it may actually still be visible on very large devices like uh, televisions. Right, because people these days are also using browsers on television. So make sure you actually do use very large numbers if you wanna use that trick. All right, now sometimes one of your um, elements is actually already hidden, right? Maybe because of a third party library. And if you want to display it, you should actually use display block, right? So you should go from none to block and it will become visible again. If some third party library has hidden it with visibility hidden, you can display it again with visibility visible, right? So it's still visible now. And of course, opacity, if some other library has opacity zero, you can make it visible again with opacity one, right? So that's how you can hide and display a div with CSS. So it's really important that you have mastered CSS. If you wanna work with web development, definitely check out my CSS course. If you wanna take it to a professional level, the link is in the description. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.